show, UK artist manager Nick Stewart. Um, I'm going to start, actually, with, with, with Neil and Joni. I mean, is this about freedom of speech or is it about money? It's about money. It always is about money, Alistair. But the interesting point about this is, is these aren't two hereby fly-by-night artists. These are two of the greatest songwriters and singers of the past 50 years, and they carry considerable clout. And they may, well, their work, I suggest, may well last longer than Mr. Rogan's. I understand that um, Mr. Rogan has a very large sum of money was paid to him to put out his views on Spotify. And, of course, the interesting part is, is that Spotify was, a, was originally a DSP, a digital streaming platform for music. And then they got into the, into the business of purchasing, and that's what they've done with Mr. Rogan, purchasing podcasts that have enormous reach across the globe. Well, of course, if you do that and you have people on that violently, sorry, artists violently disagree, you're going to get some conflict. And uh, this is what's happening. Now, Niels Lofgren has gone on Twitter this morning. He's standing firmly behind Neil and Joni. He's pretty close to Bruce Springsteen. You know, if Taylor Swift or Lana Del Rey suddenly decides to, I'm not suggesting they're going to, by the way, but if they did, Spotify, whose stock share price dropped 22% in January, right? It's quite a lot of money, okay? Yeah. They could be in a certain amount of trouble. And you know, it, it's a, it, it's it could be, um, it could really be a big problem for them. 